April 6th. We're in the grow room here, which is slightly warmer than outside. Outside temperature, I haven't really checked. I would imagine it's like 50 degrees or so. See if we can save these stringy kale. This is some healthy kale versus some stringy stuff. This had been f further away from the light. This has been under the light the whole time. Note of the comparison. I don't know if this will ever be totally healthy stuff. I'm going to do another sowing round of indoor kale. I just put peppers and tomatoes in here. And these which I have which I sowed like a week later S still nothing there nothing going on there no no sign of life yeah so I've been, been pretty active the last couple days probably spent about 15 hours out here total so the first thing I did was made this uh, made this little area repurpose the the wood that I used for the compost bin put them over here all I did was uh, I put nails in the opposite end of this and stuck it into the you can see there's grooves in between the the um, stones here and I just put them that's how they're put in I started putting in a, a few leaves that I'd taken off from the beds and putting it into here and I put a little bit of compost in here too. I'm not, I'm not yet filling this up because this is kind of my greenhouse. I'm not sure if this is even going to be effective but I uh, taped up or I nailed down, I screwed down this you know, every few feet. I put a piece of tape so it gives the gives the plastic a little bit more integrity and the if it's the wind is blowing it doesn't rip apart. And I put a couple of pieces of tape uh, uh, nails right here to prop it up and then when I put it down I just put that piece of wood on top of it and it seems to stay put even under heavy winds. I moved some of these guys outside thinking that they're going to get more sunlight out here than they are in the grow room. And then I planted, I sowed some uh, corn seeds, peppers and tomatoes. I think this is like watermelons and uh, cantaloupe. More tomatoes. Here now, let's, yeah, let's take a look at this. So the plan here is there's going to be kale. And I've got some beans that I just sowed. We gotta cover them a little bit better here. This is some of the stuff that I sprout or soaked yesterday into today, and now I'm I've planted them. This is the first time I've used this soaking method. Actually, I soaked something. Maybe I soaked the beans last year also. Oh well, the beans were in some inoculant, um, an inoculant formula. The vetch is soaking in the same inoculant and also did the same thing with snap peas.